he works all the time <laughs> if any of you didn't know <laughs> yes I do so it's <laughs> nice to for us to spend time when he is a little bit unplugged dayallday.com <laughs>
<laughs> and you know, sometimes they're they're different, and I still appreciate it. That's weird. But this time, I was like, uh, no, we need to go. It was so bad. It was really, really bad. Yeah, it sucked. And the girl who was having it, it's funny because what was her name? It was, Kat. It was Kat. I don't remember her whole name, but we'll just call her Kat so we can try to protect her her identity. She was saying she had broken foot, and she was doing this this event, this comedy event to raise money, and she got got all these comics that she knew to come do the show. There's like 15 names on the sheet. So I'm like, okay, so she's doing this to raise money, but she didn't even sell us the tickets. All she did was sell us on the idea of taking a free flyer that would've gave us five hours off to get in. So she has no idea what the hell she's doing. She needs to take a class on sales. Actually, she needs to read my book called The Seller's <laughs> Mindset, which you can buy at dreallday.com slash sell. Another thing about Kat is like, okay, so you broke your ankle. You're not the only one with a broken ankle in the world. <laughs> That's a good point. There are like larger issues in this world that I would most people would put up money for rather than some girl on the street that broke her ankle. She she was walking. It's not like she was yeah. she was walking too. I mean she had recovered. I think she was paying the bill. Yeah, I understand she had bills, but we all got bills. Like I got bills. Can so, you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone <laughs> bills? Can you pay my automobile? I understand if she if said like, oh, the money's going to this cause or this something. We're building something or sick kids or I don't know. But all right, Kat. Yeah, that was a good point. Yeah, she she stopped us and basically said, help me. Yeah, help it's me like out. Charity. Buy this to help me out. And she didn't even sell us the tickets. She should have been just selling tickets on the street so she would have the money whether you showed up or not. Cat, I hope you figure out a way to pay your hospital bills. That's, let's just put it that way. Call him up. I know she didn't pay it off what she made at that show because that shit was terrible. Anyway, we did that. That was the comedy show, the little line you liked. Yeah. Okay, what else? Well, we had dinner with your parents. That was great. Yes, yeah, so we had dinner with my parents on Sunday night at the Crescent Valley Grain Exchange. Very good food, big plate. We did, of course, there was a basketball tournament, Philadelphia University. The plan was to go there all day Saturday and then do some other stuff on Sunday, but we liked the games so much on Saturday, we went again on Sunday. What did you like about TBT? What were your impressions? The games were very exciting. They were very, I was engaged, even though I don't know basketball. <laughs> I know like very, very simple things about basketball. Games are exciting. Who was the best player you saw? Who were the best players that stood out over the weekend? She doesn't know okay, this question. To me, um, Drew Washington. Andrew Washington yeah, from DC on guard. point. Yeah, this is guard. Yeah, DC on point. They lost, but he was just very like hard nosed, like tough, like, yeah. testosterone like pouring out of his ears and nose. Like he was like a yeah. bull on the court. He was basically <laughs> bowling his way to the foul line. He was just getting fouled over and over. I don't know how many free throws he shot. It had to be a lot because he yeah. was. He couldn't shoot. He was not a good shooter, and he wasn't that great of a ball handler. <laughs> and he's only yeah. about six four. He about maybe about six five. He was just forcing his way to the free throw line. Even though they lost, he was playing. I, w I like the way he was playing. He was playing like street ball style, how you gotta play in street ball because the jump shots is not a pretty game where you just gotta get dirty. That's how he was playing. So. Who else did I like? Yeah. Mm. I'll name somebody while she's going. We'll go back and forth. Okay. Another guy who was very impressive at TBT was uh, Eric Devendorf from Syracuse. Oh, okay. Uh, white guy who's not super athletic. He does not run that fast. He definitely doesn't jump that high. But the guy is very crafty, and he's super instinctive. He's very crafty and instinctive. His footwork is precise. He's a great outside shooter. He's a great ball handler. He knows where everybody on the team is supposed to be during the game, coming out of timeouts, during free throws. He's going to every player and telling them what to do, where to be, how to do it. He was directing traffic of everybody, even though he was not the most talented guy on the team. And th this guy is so instinctive, the way he plays basketball. It was just little tiny things he was doing that I couldn't even explain it to somebody who was watching if they didn't notice it. I would have to get it on film and slow motion it and show you what he did, because it would happen so quick that it was instinctive and that that's instinctive talent that you can't teach like the way Kyrie Irving makes those layups like some of that you can teach but a lot of it you can't and he has that uh, Devin Dorf from Syracuse so he will be a reason as far as they go he's going to be a major reason for that because if he hadn't played the way he played on Sunday they would have lost he's a guy that stood out to me now your and what about that um, short guy that was you said he's nasty and I can tell he was great too I forgot his Stephen name Stephen Burke Steve yeah. Burke 
So Steve Burt played for the Gale Nation, which is Iona's alumni team. But what do you see? And Steve Burt is from New York. His dad was the coach of the M1 mixtape team years back. For those of you who remember the mixtape, there was a coach named Steve Burt. This is his son. His son is nasty. What did you see in Steve? What stood out? I, I don't have words for it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but he was, he, it looked like he was making shit happen. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know what it was, what it was. You call that being a playmaker. He yeah, was making plays. Yeah. yeah. He definitely made a lot of plays. He was making threes off the dribble. He was getting to the basket and he made that, he made the game winning basket the day before. Yes. But Steve Burt made basically the game winning layup the day before, the first round game. He took the coast to coast off a of miss with like two seconds left on the clock. He went coast to coast, scored. It was like one second left, and they ended up winning the game. Who else? There were two guys. They were guards. Two mm -hmm. guys on the the guy from Atlanta on his team. I own it. Gale Nation. Yeah, yeah, so it was Steve Burt was one. And, the other okay, guy and was then, number seven. Okay. D'Angelo Henderson. Or was it Henderson? Yeah, him. The guy with tattoos. Yeah. But, yes, he was doing his thing. And for a while, actually, because Steve Burt kept scoring. And then the D'Angelo dude would try to make plays and he would miss. I'd be like, yo, why the hell does he keep shooting? <laughs> but then as I kept watching him, he started to actually make more plays. And he made a lot of plays down the stretch because it was obvious that Burt was getting tired. Number seven, he was getting tired. He couldn't do everything by himself. So, you know, Gale Nation beat City of God. Yeah, Steve Burt made the game in the lead to yeah. put out City of God in the first round. Let me see what yeah. he did in that game. He had a lot of points. All right, so Devendorf. 23 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists in the game that they beat uh, Gale Nation. And y'all seen Devendorf, dude's like 6'3", don't have no athleticism. Dante Green had 32 points, dude was just pouring in 3-pointers. But in that losing effort, that last game for Gale Nation, Steve Burt had 34. D'Angelo Harrison had 22. Both of those guys, and Harrison was 7 for 25. I knew he was missing. That's why I was like, yo, why the hell does he keep shooting the ball? <laughs> he was missing a lot of shots, but he was making plays, even though he was missing a lot of shots. He uh, he made, uh, he shot, shot, let's say, 10 for 25. They would have won that game. But anyway, you said we went to a campus. We went to your your school. Penn State Abington. Yeah. That's my school. And it was, the campus was beautiful. Yes. And when we were walking in, he's like, you're going to see animals in here. I'm like, what do you mean animals? Like tigers and bears? <laughs> I was like, no, you're going to see what? Ducks and chipmunks. chipmunks and yes. I didn't even know what chipmunk looked like. And we saw one. And we saw one. <laughs> it looked like a yeah. rat. I don't know. Something we saw like swans. Swans. And we saw uh, the Nittany Lion, Penn State Nittany Lion. Yes. The trophy. I mean, the statue. <laughs> then we went to your grandma. Went to my grandmother. She lives in the Northeast. What yeah. else? What else about the trip? He works all the time, <laughs> if any of you didn't know. <laughs> yes, I do. So it's nice to, for us to spend time when he is a little bit unplugged, get away from the day-to-day -day grind. And I think it's necessary to do that um, for couples, non-couples, for everybody, for every one of us. So I think it's important to have a quality time away from what you're doing every single day. Just to come back to it and, and put yourself in the higher gear right away. Yeah, we got to sat in the gym at Philly University basically for a whole day on Saturday. We walked around you know, the historic historic area of Philadelphia, downtown, Independence Hall, Liberty Bell. We walked through all of that, read all the little uh, exhibits. We went to Rita's a lot. Yes. How many times did we go? Four, five. Like four. No, five. We yeah. went twice on Thursday, once on Friday, and then Sunday we went twice. We went before the restaurant, and then we went again after the restaurant. <laughs> your friend, your, I met your friend, Tone. Oh, yeah, my man, Tone. Well, I played with it out tuna. He came through at, oh, yeah, we went to Budokan. We didn't mention Budokan. Yeah, Jay has never been to Budokan before, and I have. I happen to like them. Yeah, but so a lot of it is about ambiance, then food. I guess you really have to like Asian fusion. Um, but great thing is that your friend stopped by and I got to meet him. Yeah. Now I know he's not a fictional character. <laughs> <laughs> now we had dim, I had some dim sum chicken chicken dumplings and shrimp dumplings at Budokan. Food was pretty good actually. Yeah. 
Whenever that is, we'll probably car. do that. That was another thing. We had a cool rental. Yes, the Camaro, Chevy Camaro. Shout out to the dude at Alamo, which I think was a higher grade than what I had actually rented and paid for. He so looked at us, he knew we were somebody. So he's like, you guys need a better car than this. Yeah, he got us a better car. <laughs> and like a bunch of people commented on the Camaro. Like the guy who worked at Rita's commented. Some random dude in the parking lot of the hotel commented. A lot of people like Camaros. Yeah, a lot of people. My dad was commenting on the Camaro. I didn't think a Camaro was a big deal, but obviously it is. Yeah, boys like Camaros. Yeah, what else? All right, so before every game, I would ask her, who you think is going to win? And we're just, she doesn't know any of these players. I know a bunch of these players just from being a basketball player. And most of these dudes didn't play in the league and haven't played in the league, so the casual fan don't know. So I would ask her, who you think is going to win this game? And she was I picking. predicted all of them. Like, I would just look at them and just, I don't know what it is, just look at their energy and how they were warming up, and I was like, no, they're going to win. And no, who's going to win? I only got one wrong. One? You only got one. Which one was it? City of Gods. That's right. She picked City of Gods to beat Gale Nation. Yeah. I own the team on the first And I only day. lost that one because I wasn't going with my instinct. I was going with my head, thinking, oh, City of Gods played before, the other guys haven't. They're going to do better, they're more experienced, blah, blah, blah. So that was all bullshit logic. Yeah, if good, I had really reason. looked at them, I would have probably picked the other guys. So. I, I, couldn't argue with, I couldn't argue with that back. reasoning. City of Guys just didn't have the same team. They didn't have their coach, which I think is important. And they also lost a couple of their big guys. They didn't have the same bigs this year that they had before. And that, I knew they were weakened because they won the region last year, but they were the number six seed this year. So I knew something was wrong, <laughs> and they got beat. And that was it. What else? I think that's everything we that's did. That's everything that we did. Yeah, so that's four days worth of Philadelphia right there. Next time, I don't know when next time is going to be. Maybe next summer. Actually, probably it'll be when the Sixers play the Spurs. My dad's going to get tickets oh, yeah, for that that's game. Right. We'll probably the go winter. to the Sixers Spurs game. Yeah, it depends on what it is because they could come at any time. It could be early in the season. It could be at the end of the season. Maybe it'll be March or April when it's actually nice in Philadelphia. That'll be all right. That'd be great. <laughs> so we'll see. Usually it's early in the season, though, because when the Spurs are on a road trip, why they go on all these cities. So. It's necessary to take the time for you and unplug for a little bit and come back fresh. Yeah, well, I keep you honest. I don't know how fresh I am. I slept like six hours yeah, a night. Yeah, we didn't sleep. For four nights. Yeah, that's one thing we didn't do. We didn't yeah, sleep. we didn't sleep much. So, uh, what you going to do? I'm going to get organized when we go back, catch up on my sleep, and start working. All right. Well, that's that. I don't think there's anything else to say. <laughs>